Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the beloved uh, rookie Balboa run where we are trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but rookies. Yep, and four men only, I should mention that. And on top of that, permanent dark events, which have now spiraled completely out of control. We have 10 permanent dark events running and my most favorite one undying loyalty has lately kicked in as well great right no it's not great it feels like pain like being at the dentist uh, 24 by 7 but uh, that is i suppose part of the challenge overcoming that pain it's time to go to new mexico operation cryptic flame and uh, this is important because we want to get through two to three um, Elarium cores out of it so that we can actually uh, start building the rage suit and hopefully a blaster <coughs> launcher or shred storm cannon. Uh, we are bringing a couple of blue screen rounds with us mainly to deal with the gatekeeper and some of uh, the heavier mechanical foes and the rest uh, is really aimed around just hitting targets uh, really it's a non-timed mission so i bring the bolt caster with us because it has a superior scope um, internalized and we bring um, tracer rounds with us just to hit we got two jail uh, get out of jail cards with the mimic beacons uh, who, which are hopefully enough and that really needs to be good enough in order to go through this mission i guess Oh, it's a rocket and uh, be successful good we just landed and look at that guys we got ourselves a double agent double agent carlo is back reporting to service he got a nice little extra thick grenade and he is ready to rumble where's our high ground though okay seems like we got to deal without high ground that is a problem because our composition, Understood. rookies, is very much reliant on high ground. Very much reliant on high ground. Affirmative, moving out. Guided. Enemy squad located. Aye, aye. Good. The first enemies are being spotted out. Carlo takes. Bit of a position over here. Scanning Overwatch. Wait, wait, wait. This here could be high ground. That's a truck. There is the slightest chance for high ground. Consider me interested. Hmm. Okay, so far. Uh, the the slightest chance is a bit too slight. Copy that. Heading there now. Good. XQ6. Let's, Let's move this. all the way over here and slice in Aether. Follow us up. Okay, we changed sides. Ooh, there's a shed. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Look, that's at least something. I'm not claiming the shed is an optimal place to fight, but if you don't have high ground with rookies, you are in a world of pain. Carlo scouts out. Okay, finds that the shack is not being taken, which is good. Shinrod and X are heading over. Got it covered. And we're kind of sleazy, uh, sleazing our way through this. Secretive. This chimney here will be our only cover. Fortunately, we can't set up any cover on the high ground. But I still think it's worth it. Palo takes the front line position. Double time. 
equally so. We are rushing for the high ground. Look, for now, I think Already there. this is going to be okay. Not sure if standing on high ground for a longer period of time will be helpful, but at least for the beginning, it could be. If we're taking a front position here, we might even, we might even be able to uh, to continue staying on the high ground. Solid copy. Shinrod moves up. Does see a heavy mech. There's no high ground in the back. <clears throat> Nothing. So this is the only high ground we're going to get. Good to go. Moving up. Contacts. Oh boy. Way too many enemies. Confirmed. Moving to designated position. Heading out. Good. Carlo just takes a tiny step. Good look, we gotta be careful here. Let's not trigger that final pack already. <clears throat> we gotta be really careful. Yeah. Roger that. I don't want to trigger that either. For now, let's overwatch. I'm on the move. I hate to stand up here in no cover. This is super dangerous. Don't try that at home. If we're being spotted out, we potentially will trigger two packs. They went out of line of sight, which is good. We're still splitting uh, the way that we're currently splitting. Uh, reason for that is I don't want a grenade to immediately chuck us all down. Quintuple overwatch and these guys will trigger and we'll get a full free salvo of overwatch hopefully we're not killing him right next to the car please don't carlo misses and none of the other overwatches actually hits unfortunate well Time to reconsider our positions. Shimrod moves in, 95%. And there we go, buddy. Good job. X begins to move in. And just like in an action movie, they bring him down. 90%, okay. What is Carlos's thought about all of that? He doesn't want to stand too close, so might as well move him over here. Bit of a softening up. Hi, 
high ground still for us and let's kill this guy Ninety-two percent. I think we're just reloading and killing him. Enemy destroyed. Damn, Carlo was still too close. I was trying to keep him far enough away, but I failed to do that. Still, do not have the explosion radius down after all of these years. Full cover moves in. Locked and loaded. Got it. Slightly moving up. Got to be careful here. This is a very dangerous game that we're playing. Reload Overwatch and Overwatch. And cut Overwatches. Okay, Shinrod moves just a tiny bit to there. Not much. And we'll keep our fire line well in the life up here. Sort of hoping the mech will just move into us from over here well we maybe got more than we bargained for Oh, snap! They got more than they bargained for. Fantastic. The plan worked. Sort of worked. Okay, well, whew. what to do first? What to do first? Um, I think our high ground here, super exposed, dangerous, still worthwhile. I'm up. Still up. Move and a teamwork over. X -ray neutralized. And this one nicely gets rid of our biggest problem, the mech. Rocket launcher, unfortunately can't remove the cover there. Look, we can use a Mimic Beacon if need be. For now, everything seems fine. Carlo carefully advances. Let's not get a second pack going. And that's what Carlo is supposed to do. Remove the cover. Rolling. Moving over. And this should be a kill. Enemy eliminated. Very good. Excellent. Couldn't have asked for a better start here. Covering now. Back in. Moving 
Okay, everybody overwatches. We will take a more aggressive fire line up here. Or not. Maybe. Our positioning was actually quite good in the first place. Nice, nice, nice. Oh boy. Look at that. Down to one HP. Fantastic. Well, Slicinator. Yeah, misses the shot. Now, I'll leave a Mimic Beacon. For good measure. Shinrod. Shinrod uh, moves in. Hopefully takes down the priest. Even over the second advanced teamwork. The priest, of course, goes into stasis. In the meantime, X <coughs> kills the guy. We got some loot. Ooh, two times ooh, two times advanced scope. That was phenomenal loot. Carlo moves up like the hero he is. Ah, he wanted too much. <clears throat> He's not quite at that level of he heroic uh, deeds. His level of heroism, unfortunately, didn't match his ambitions. Good. Shimrod moves out. Pulls a quite nasty pack. But we still got some things in reserve for now. It's time to remove these guys from the equation. I still hit 11 points of damage is nothing to uh, scuff at, but it's good. Perfect option for teamwork. And a Mimic Beacon from Slicinator. After, of course, we've taken a good hit. Nice, 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 nice. High ground pays off. Moving as close as possible to that Archon, so we maximize the hit chance. Good, and that was important because our Mimic Beacon can take two hits from the Archons, but not three. And if they Blazing Pinion, um, our rooftop might be destroyed. Thankfully, tactical analysis forces them to remain where they are. And that's okay. Got another Mimic Beacon. So... Let's take a dual strike. I don't think we're going to see many more enemies here.
All right, moving over. 91%. Good damage. Slicing Slicinator continues to do what they would always do. Reload and shoot. Carlo goes to the front line. Oh, not good. He's not in a good uh, state of mind at the moment. Let's get them a bit closer. Second Mimic Beacon. <coughs> Mutants back there, careful. Right here is another mutant. Always take a look at the surroundings when the fog of war ends. Okay, that didn't work out as expected. Let's try to kill the remaining Archons here. Carlo. Rethinks his approach this time. High ground. Might do the trick. 70%. Come on. There you go. Good job, man. Copy that. Those guys are just a pain to hit. Rock and roll. Okay, there's another mutant pack. And for now, I just want us to be careful. Lots of reloading needs to happen here. But we still got our fire line going. We're moving a bit closer. Good copy. Moving on target. Carlo takes the low ground, scouting position. Closing on target position now. Aye, aye. And aye. let's hope that this pack is going to run into us, just like all the others did. That high ground spot here had proven to be incredibly valuable. Look, it's a mutant and something, right? Can't be that bad of a pack. Let's give it one or two more rounds. Carlo slowly begins to try to spot out what we're dealing with. Good. Um, in terms of not getting immediately sh completely shed on, <clears throat> let's actually take some halfway solid cover. Boom. 
as you will remove the tree and explode the car so double damage there Sixteen points of damage against the mutant. Holy macaroni. Target disabled. Okay. Overall, I would say that was a clean mission, guys. Carlo took some damage out of stupidity, but the rest was actually super clean. Okay, the gatekeeper got executed, but they have helped. Um, but the play around high, high ground, if you know what you're doing and if you can really time it down to one pack only, that will help a lot to soften the blow. And we got two advanced scopes, which will help us to modify the weapons even further. That's really good. I told the troops to expect the best, and that's what you've shown them, Commander. Well done. Found ourselves a gatekeeper, and there is a bond upgrade available. Cool. Fantastic. We don't need increased regional income. I think what we wanted to do was make contact as soon as necessary. And get that supply drop. We got quite a few resources here, so that's great. And we can upgrade another bond. Great. Good. Things are looking things are looking positive. Slightly positive. You should never be too cocky, as the game has uh, the tendency to have an advanced form of speech recognition, and the moment that you say, yep, everything's good, it just gives you another hook. To remind you that it's XCOM. Is open. I think we're going to go with another superior expanded magazine. Just because it is a great buy overall. By the way. Uh, I never checked. Did we, did we get... We got four cores. All right. Rage suit. Here we go. And experimental powered weapons. Yes, please. Shred storm cannon. Experimental powered weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. And there is it. The blaster launcher. Fantastic. Okay, so from that point uh, onwards, we're okay with the heavy, super heavy weapons. Every single additional core that we're getting is helpful, but like we got the base cover, uh, bases covered. Shred Storm Cannon and Blaster Launcher are helpful. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert. Good enough. Thing. We co couldn't take another covert ops mission if my memory serves me well. Yes, sergeant, 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 sergeant. Yeah. Okay. Soon we're going to be shut down, I guess. Yeah, but that it is what it is. I. Again, can't do much against that. Uh, the only way to stop it would be with a resistance ring, which in return I'm not allowed to use. That's another retaliation mission, though. 
chrysalids, elite specters, vipers, berserkers, codic uh, codices, and mutants. Okay, well, we can take that on. Haven Assault uh, means we got some support at least. And as long as we get the chrysalids down, we should be fine. Which kind of brings us to the end. Uh, by the way, does, doesn't does take cover, takes cover, takes cover, does not take cover. So and so takes cover and takes cover. And maybe we're reducing the number of explosives that we bring onto this mission. Cover removal. And instead bring more med kits for poison immunity. Okay, that brings us to the end of today's episode. And I hope you are still enjoying yourself. We got we got uh, quite a lot done here. Soon the rage suit is also going to be done. So I was actually looking favorable. Um, the moment that we have the shadow chamber um, build out, we will get the last few um, the last few golden path missions. We need to find a way to school. Oh, maybe. Maybe we're going to take a school check with us and try study the codex. Yeah, never mind. Can't yet. Uh, can't yet school check the codex. And to be honest, uh, it's easier to do that on the codex brain coordinates mission because it's not timed. So forget what I just said. We're just going to continue researching and a month from now we should at least have everything uh, researched. Uh, we're on the final line. It's now hold, uh, just about holding tight and not losing the game really. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen, smash the like button and tell me how much you love executions of gatekeepers. Uh, I personally find them quite fun. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.